My name is Chef Van den Berg. Uh, next week in Den Bosch we have the 50th World Championships uh, in which I am going to compete. These World Championships are very special to me because they're uh, pretty much around the corner. And also we are going to get our Olympic tickets here if, uh, if all goes well. So I'm very excited uh, to shoot these. The biggest advantage of the World Championships uh, being in our own country for me is that I feel comfortable with the, the culture, I feel comfortable with the weather. Um, all of the circumstances are very familiar to me so I think in that aspect we can uh, really uh, have an advantage over other countries. We also don't have a trip there or uh, the trip is relatively short, uh, we have to drive for about 45 minutes. Um, so we will not have a jet lag, we will not be very tired of it, so uh, that's also going to help us, I hope. When I was still in school, I used to go to the Bosch if, uh, if I felt like shopping, if I felt like going out or whatever. Uh, I didn't go out that much as a kid or as a, as a student, but uh, the Bosch is definitely a city that I went to a lot if I felt like going to a big city. Of course I have mental pressure as well, I mean, um, like I said, every, I think every top archer has a certain level of, uh, of pressure, of like excitement, uh, I think I would call it. So I'm excited as well for next week and I think uh, like next week my shooting will be slightly different than the shooting I will do on trainings, but that's normal and I think the, the shooting that I do in trainings um, is very relaxed and it's mostly focused on, on technique, whereas the shooting I do in competitions is more about the result. Um, so it's okay if your shooting is not the same in competitions because it shouldn't be, I think. Um, you want it to be as close to each other as possible, but there's always this difference. And I think um, being stressed about the fact that you're stressed only makes it worse. So when you're shooting a competition and you notice that you're stressed, that's something you should just notice and take for, for granted. Just roll with it instead of uh, thinking, oh shit, I'm stressed. And then becoming even more stressed because of the thought. I don't feel like I have direct rivals. I think uh, the whole field is going to be uh, a very uh, strong and tough uh, field of competitors. Um, however, I've shot uh, very often against Brady the, the last couple of months and he uh, pretty much always managed to edge me out. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to doing this in my uh, home country and seeing if I can uh, if I can uh, take a leap and uh, go for it. The preparation for this was not much different from uh, a World Cup, for instance, uh, except for the fact that there's a little bit more uh, attention from the media. So I've done some uh, newspaper articles, some, some small interviews for TV, uh, which I usually don't do uh, before World Cups because there's not that much attention. Um, for the rest, my, my, like my training uh, was the same and uh, the amount of training was pretty much similar. Uh, because, uh, I mean, why, why treat this tournament other than uh, a different tournament? I don't have special rituals, in a sense. I think I, I enjoy being in nature and I enjoy um, sort of looking for a place to, to relax and, and uh, part from the rest of the world. So um, that place can also be music. I mean, I, I love music and I always listen to music. Um, but I think most of the time I just go out in the forest and, and, and go for a walk and take some pictures uh, just to clear the mind and uh, to have something else to do. So I'm, uh, I'm sleeping in a hotel, um, which is, in my mind, it's, it's quite ridiculous because the hotel that we're staying in is further from the finals venue and from the qualification venue than the house of my parents. Um, so yeah, that, it's, it's, uh, it's a bit weird, but on the other hand, uh, like I said before, I didn't prepare for this competition in a different way than I would do for any other competition. So why would I go into a different situation uh, like for, for my whole um, like stay sort of. So uh, staying in a hotel is very normal for a competition so you don't want to change that whole ritual.
So obviously, uh, since you're watching this, you know that um, I also am part of a YouTube channel called Triple Trouble Archery. Um, it's difficult to combine the two. So I, uh, I'm a full-time archer and I, I train pretty much the whole day. Um, but the YouTube channel helps me in uh, taking some time off as well and, and trying to trying to dig in my uh, artistic side. So I really enjoy making content with uh, with the Apping guys. So I, I see YouTube as, as a bit of a hobby, but also something that's uh, that's rapid, rapidly growing and that we're um, maybe someday uh, we'll be getting something back from. So it's um, it's part hobby and part investment in the future and uh, trying to build a brand on the side. Up. Up day. Start to move. Up day. So the reason I want to win the World Championships is obviously because it's just super cool to uh, win the World Championships and, and to call yourself a World Champion. Um, also because I feel like it would be, it would also be something I deserve after the amount of work I put in and the, the amount of um, shit I've been through, uh, typically said. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not an easy sport uh, mentally if for a very long time you haven't reach the result you know you're capable of. And I know I'm capable of doing great things, um, but it's not like I've, I've just not uh, reached what I've wanted to reach this year, but also the three years before that. So uh, for me, it would be something like a uh, redemption sort of. So I, I want to get my redemption at the World Championships. And I know that's uh, a lot to ask. And I know that there's like uh, 200 more people who want the same thing. Um, so that's what makes this sport difficult as well. So I really want to, to become world champion because I want redemption, but also just because I feel like I can make all of the people I work together with and all the people that supported me in the past, I want to make them proud, you know? I, I, want, to, um, I want to deliver something to the people who have put effort and, and time into my shooting as well. So it's a, it's a two-way deal, sort of. If I don't win, um, I simply hope that I did all I could and um, that my shooting was as good as I know I can shoot. So uh, a good example of this is my match against Kim Bu Jin in, in Colombia the, in the bronze medal match. I mean, I shot great there, uh, but he was also great. You know, uh, Kim Bu Jin is not something you can just shoot an okay match against and then win. Um, so I did, like I gave him my all, I shot a, a very good match in my opinion. Um, and then he still won. I mean, that happens, that's part of the sport. But um, I really wanna like, make, a, make a step, like I, wa I wanna step up uh, my game and, and make sure that that doesn't happen anymore and, and that I can like, go into the sixth gear and just go for it.